What's up YouTube, Milma here again with another Xcode tutorial. Now this is another follow on from the WebView tutorial and if you haven't already seen them you can find the first one here. Now in this tutorial uh, I'm going to show you how to create a Google search bar. So in the last tutorial we, we learned how to create a search bar that would just search any URL. This search bar is just going to search Google. So uh, I've made it automatically load YouTube just because Google will be a bit pointless now. And uh, as you can see, I can go up here and I can search bing.com and it will take me to Bing. But say I don't like Bing, I'm going to go to Google instead. So I'll click on Google and I'm going to search YouTube in Google. And as you can see, it's now loaded the Google web page and uh, you can now select YouTube. Again, all these buttons still work and go back to Bing, back, back, back. I can refresh still, I can go home and it will take me back to YouTube. So you know all this still works. Plus I'm going to show you how to make it make the text field delete what you've put in it when you click on it. So as you can see I've put bing.com as I click on it bing.com disappears because I want to type in a new URL. Because it's a bit annoying having to delete it all the time. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to open up my web view tutorial again. and uh, open up that. Now we're going to need one more action and one more text field for the Google so uh, just copy that search bar and rename it I don't know Google bar Google bar there you go <laughs> and then for the action do exactly the same copy paste and call that Google Google search save the uh, .h, that's all we need to do. Now go into the .m and uh, for this we're going to copy and paste this action here, the search action and uh, make sure you change the action to Google again change this search bar to Google and delete the search, so it's Google bar. Now this is this in here in the second line where it defines the URL this is where we're going to put the magic code that makes it load Google instead of a web view. Now to get this uh, website address, just go into Google, uh, which is just loaded here, and search nothing, and you should get this code here. Um, and if you don't get it, it will be in the description, and you can also copy it as well. So I'm going to copy that, go back, and paste it in here just like that. Now make sure after the equals you have your percent at otherwise it will not work whatsoever. So uh, copy that in and that's all you need to do for coding wise. So go into your web view controller.nib so now we can start designing the interface. So uh, we need to add another text field so we'll add that and make it a bit smaller because this one's going to say Google and we could also add a flexible spacebar button to space them out a bit. Now uh, click on uh, that and go into the placeholder and put Google so they know it's a search engine for Google. Um, you don't have to change any of this because it's not a website so the defaults will be fine. Now as I said I will show you how you can make the web uh, the text fields delete what they have in them when the user clicks on them so they don't have to delete it themselves. So to do that, just click on the web view, go into the attributes, and under here where it says clear button, check mark the box that says clear button when editing. And do that for both of them, so that as soon as the user taps on it, which is when it begins editing, it will clear what's in there so they don't have to delete it all. Uh, that can be useful, that cannot be useful, it depends on what you're using it for. Um, so now go to the files owner, and now we need to connect Google bar to the Google bar and Google search to Google and did end on exit. So it's as easy as that guys, that's all we need to do for, to create a Google search bar. Again you could do this with anything, you could do it with Bing, you could do it with YouTube, whatever you choose just make sure you get the right URL. So uh, we'll save IB and now we'll build and run. Uh, so here we go. Um, now we've got it loading Google at the start, which I said was a bit pointless. So we'll go into our 
uh, code again and change this Google to YouTube uh, just so it loads something different because now we've got our Google search bar we don't need to load Google anymore do we so there you go YouTube loaded um, and now we can still use this uh, this one up here so we'll search Bing uh, and we can also go home and it will take us back to YouTube or forward again it will take us back to Bing and so on so now now we're going to use our Google search bar just search whatever and uh, as you can see it's loaded Google in our search and uh, if we get a bit lost we're clicking on too much stuff so we clicked on that and we lost uh, we can go home and it will take us back to YouTube we can go back we can go forward we can still refresh the page we can search any website we want so pretty much guys we've made our own uh, own Safari so I uh, hope these tutorials helped um, on this web view if you have any more tutorials you want me to do on web views or anything in particular to do with Xcode just leave a comment in the description below and don't forget to rate and subscribe